Hey guys, my name is Serge. If you've never watched the channel before, thank you so much for watching. Today we have a real beauty. We have the Lexus LS460. Now a few of you might have watched my video on the LS500 and it's a car which I absolutely adore. This is the predecessor and I'm very excited because least to say it's a rather rare car uh, not many of these were sold and not many of these are out on the road now the gentleman that actually owned this has now bought the ls500 so he has kept it in incredible condition and i'm very excited to go into the full detail of this car and take it for a nice drive as well afterwards but we are going to go through all the ins and outs everything that this car comes with and everything which it doesn't come with which comes in the ls500 and of course we're going to take it for a drive and see how it drives as compared to the ls500 guys let's just get straight into it Now have a look at the design of the LS. You can definitely see how the LS has definitely come into its own over the years. And the iconic shape hasn't changed much and it's definitely evolved. Now here at the front the car is powered by a huge and powerful 4.6 litre engine. Nice big V8 motor. It has got the nice big grille or starting to because it's separated by that little plastic there nice huge headlights with led daytime running lights and those little dots there yep that's the indicators now uh, the car has some quite large 19 inch alloys actually a little bit smaller than the ls500 which now runs on 20s look at how huge the boot looks it's got nice leds in the rear and of course an electric tailgate have a look at this and a decent sized boot but you can see it has a very large wall there and I'm going to show you why. Anyways, let's close this up here. Let's close that. Of course, the car's got a rear camera and sensors. No side cameras, very surprisingly. It doesn't have the 360 degree view. But something that it does have, you can't see it, but the car has night vision. Yes, that's right, there's a front camera. Now the front camera actually operates out through there that's a great safety feature to have especially if you're doing long like highway distances or nighttime driving in the car that is something they've really thought about now of course the car does have the soft closed doors and it pulls the door quite nicely now usually i would jump in the front and show you everything in the front but i want to do something different and i want to jump into the back because i want to show you how the back seats operate now it looks like quite the normal car design here and it actually quite is however if we have a look at the ceiling we have a lot going on so let's jump in and look how big our leg room is now that <laughs> <laughs> and mind you in the front there that is quite far back now have a look at this we've got a blu-ray player at the back sd card we've got video output and a nice trim of wood we have this little plastic here which i don't know what that does we've got headlights here with auto dimming look at that not auto dimming but that, take that down now in the center console here we have all the tricks and goodies which you can find on the LS500. Now, we have heated and cooling seats, so we can go cooling. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's quite loud. Let's go back up to heating. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Now, over here... I'm not too sure what this button does. Oh! Oh! It's a... <laughs> it's a vibrator! It's... <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. It is quite literally, wait. Can you hear that?
and you've got different selections, different mode selections for the vibrating of your bottom. We've got a lumbar support here. No, that's for your vibrator, for your back. And it is like lumbar support. And it comes in and out. Look at that. Now over here, this is where things get very interesting. So remember on the LS500 how we could have a fully reclined seat? This one here is a little bit more limited. You can bring up the headrest. It's all electric. You can recline. So we can go forward. We can go back. And then if I press that button there, it's for that seat there. So let's have a look. It doesn't go too far out. And this one here. And the seat is very nicely reclined. Just to show you, I've come to this end. Okay, now watch this. I can just do the front of it. It's like a uh, top recliner, it's all like this. And we can do the headrest higher, so we can have a nice relaxing session. Now if I wanted to have a bit more privacy, all I do is press this button here. <laughs> My electric blinds come up. If I want a little bit more privacy, I do my rear blind and now with my vibrator on I can't sleep with the vibrator I was gonna say I'm gonna go for a snooze but do not turn that off turn that off that is quite comfortable that is quite spectacular now we have a lot of buttons going on at the back here let's let's uh, continue with these we've got four zone climate control so you got one two three and four now whoever sits on this seat here plays around with those i can play around with these and direct it where i want it to go now this is where things get very interesting inside the center console now look at this we have a little remote and that there is to power our screen now with the ls500 you might have remembered that we had two screens uh, in front of both of the seats this one here is only one screen and it's in the center now watch how this works this is this is rather cool here's our remote open <laughs> make sure your seat belt is fastened no sd card found and because we have a blu-ray disc player Oh dear, <gasps> I had a copy of Beverly Hills Cop at home, I should have brought it with me. Could have just been in here just watching a movie. I'll do the review another day, just watch a movie in the back here. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a look at that. So it is fully electric, so I can um, go ahead and press disc, no disc found, change the source. Now over here we have the rear AV, rear SD. We can go Bluetooth. How cool is that? So you can literally sit here and watch a movie. Now, mind you, it's a little bit uncomfortable looking at it from this line of sight, but that could be because I am fully reclined. Now, something else I have forgot to mention. We have a little mirror here. Hello. And we have air conditioning vent air conditioning vent air conditioning vent and of course under the seats now that is very clever and we've got one two three look at this huge speaker on top of my head that's just on this side here right and four don't forget that one and of course on that side now this car is of course powered by the mark levinson sound system which is superb to say the least and i wish i could turn on the music and show you guys but uh i really don't want to upset anyone on the youtube and we're gonna keep it a little bit quiet so anyways let's jump to the front now jumping into the front first thing we can see is these huge comfortable leather seats and of course they're made from the softest grade of semi-aniline now you can see this is a 2014 model and you can see how nicely they have been worn so just a little bit of creasing there but not too much and they just have been kept so beautifully this car is six years old and it doesn't look a day older than at least one or two years old now 
have a look at that all the wood grain trim have a look at the wood grain steering wheel look at that it is so nice to hold so let's jump in the first thing that you can notice about this car is you're sitting up rather high and this is the lowest the seating position goes and unlike the LS500 there's only a few seat settings that you can actually do you can't actually jump in on this screen and start setting up your seat now it still has a rather extensive so you got the leg extenders you got up and down knee support you got the four-way lumbar support as well um, and of course the reclining but compared to the LS500 it is rather limited so um, the steering wheel is fully electric as well so going up and down left and right and the steering wheel actually has quite a few controls on it so we've got obviously our media control buttons there now remember the auto hold which I've told you about in the LS500 where the car can hold itself that button is actually on the steering wheel, so quite convenient. Um, we've got all our telephone controls here, voice control, different display settings, a lane keep assist, and your adaptive cruise control, which is powered from this little stalk here. Now, in front of us, we have a quite prehistoric screen. It is all analog, a tiny little screen in the center here, which just shows your basics. And this car's only done 60,000 kilometers. Now, we've got a few more buttons. Remember the night mode I was talking about? That's that button there. That's for your headlamp washers. More buttons here. Automatic mirror closes. Your sensors, blind spot monitor. Steering wheel warmer and automatic high beams. That's all there. Three seat memory for the driver's seat. And of course, you have down the passenger seat as well. But have a look at this. I've never seen this button before. This is a... <laughs> Have a look at this. <laughs> it's an electric seat belt adjuster. And if you've ever seen a video on the very first LS, it had a button exactly the same as that. And now this is what's, what I find amazing is they didn't transfer that into the LS 500, which I found quite odd, but to say the least that this was in this car here, is really quite surprising so um, back to the center here we've got a few more buttons here your air conditioning and seat warmers here so drivers and passenger side we've got all the controls for the rear blinds here rear now if any seat is reclined holding this button just brings it back down we've got all our different drive modes here including snow now this is a rear wheel drive car so it can be <laughs> quite powerful to say the least now we've got our Sport, Sports Plus, Comfort and Eco mode. I have to say, I have it on Comfort mode and I love driving it on that mode. And of course, we have our Sports mode there as well if we need to. The quite unpopular mouse pad here. And with the screen, we have our menu setting here, which quite frankly is very backdated and can be a little bit slow and clunky. We have our analog clock here as well, the iconic Lexus clock. Anyways guys, let's go for a drive now and see how this car feels and handles on the road. Okay guys, before we set off, you might see I have a cup of tea here. Now it is a nice chamomile tea and this is just a reusable cup. So all I've done, the reason I even have this cup is I want to show you and demonstrate how smooth this car is. Like it's so smooth that I can comfortably have this cup of tea in here, drive normally, and not have to worry about the cup. Like, look how far off it is from the top. Like, that's a good amount of tea. And you can see it on that camera there, in this shot, and you can see where the water goes and everything. But I just want to have this cup of tea here just to demonstrate how smooth this car really is. Anyways, let's get off on the drive and start the car up. Oh, the concierge service. I'm not sure what happens there, like where it's like stops, like it's sort of thinking, but obviously the car turning on. The new Lexuses don't have this dilemma. We do not need music. I'm going to turn you off. Um, anyways, let's go on with the drive. Now, I've made sure that in this shop, you can see this cup of tea. And to personally say how 
confident I am <laughs> that it will not spill. I have no tissues on me. I have no paper towels. No towels. Other than if it does spill, I'm going to have to use my t-shirt. So I'm going to have to get a bit topless. But, uh, <laughs> but it is just so smooth. You know, like... We can drive, we're going to drive over this speed bump. Look at that. Nothing. Next speed bump, we're going 40 k's an hour. Nothing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just like so smooth. I can't get over it. Like, when I say that I think this car is smoother than the new one, I'm not exaggerating. And I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm not going to say it's better than the other one. But I have a feeling it is smoother, even though that cup holder is not holding that cup right. <laughs> um, anyways, we are driving a 2014 LS 460. Now, this is a naturally aspirated 4.6 liter V8. Very powerful, actually. Um, it produces 285 kilowatts, which I think is about 386 or something horsepower. Um, and it's got about 483 newton meters of torque. Hopefully I've got that one right. A 0 to 100 in this car is 5.9 seconds. That is quick. In a car which spans over 5. Point, I think it's 5.09 meters long. And it is a very heavy car too. Two and a half to be exact. Like it is such a heavy car. And for it to be this smooth is amazing. Now, we are riding on 19 inch wheels. In the new one, they're on 20s. That has something to do probably with the smoothness as well. However, the one thing which really brings this car just that down a notch is the handling. You can feel how front heavy this car is. And what I mean by that is, Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I mean. I mean, when you're going around a corner, you can feel it. Like the whole car is going to the left and right. And now, it's a huge speed bump. Now, to mitigate that, you can put it into sports and push, put it into sports plus mode. To mitigate that roll which you get in the car. Because there's so much of it. And another thing, is like when you're coming to a stop like this, you can feel that end jerk and it just <laughs> it doesn't feel as smooth as the 2020 LS 500. This particular car actually came out in 2013 and it ran along up until 2018 and that's when they brought out the LS 500. So it was a rather short cycle for the LS even though Lexus's cars usually run for a good six to seven years. And I think the S-Class had something to do with that. Because if we remember, we drove the S-Class a good few months ago now. That one there came out in 2014, a year after this LS. And it is so much more advanced. Like, the screens, for example. This one's got one huge screen in the center. But even then, the graphics on it are very dated. It feels like I'm driving a 15-year-old Lexus. We have analog display for the front, and even the digital display is like... It's not even an inch by inch wide. It feels dated before it even begun, because as a one-year-old car in 2014, to have this compete against the S-Class, and to say that this had a lot more options, would be false. Now, I know it was a lot less to begin with, but here in Australia, it was still well over $200,000, and so was the S-Class. The interior of this car actually really looks like the ES that we drove, and other than the fact that it's got this huge center console, it's not too different from the ES or even the GS that we drove. And that's the one thing which really lets this car down. However, it doesn't take away from the smoothness and the nice drive that you like it's just so nice you know okay now let's test it's zero to 100 hypothesis 
Now it's a 70 road, we're in Sports Plus. Whoa, whoa. Oh no, the T! Not the T! <laughs> It packs a bomb. <laughs> oh my god, the car like <laughs> Yeah, this car is not made for that. This <laughs> in the in the LS 500 you can do that. This car is not made for that. <laughs> Did it spill? Nope. Nothing. Nothing! This car is just so smooth! I just, I, I, like, I don't know how else I can say this. It is smooth! And I, yes, I am gonna say it, it is smoother than the LS500. Like, we're still in Sports Plus mode. We're gonna go over these little rail tracks here. And, wouldn't have even known if it wasn't for the noise. You know, there's this stretcher road and we're going to go to it right now and it's very bumpy they've just finished road works on it and they haven't made a new road for it just yet and it's all that bumpy stuff that they put on it so we're going to do a t-test there and we're going to test it out is it actually as smooth as i say it is because that will be the true test that will be the true test anyway you know they claim this car to do 10.7 liters per 100 I've barely done 50 kilometers on it. Yesterday the car was on half a tank and now it's just on a quarter. And I've been driving sensibly, except for that little zero to 70 test there. I've been driving it very sensibly. All right, anyways, here we are, here we are. Okay, so this is a very rocky road. Hopefully you can see it out the camera. This is comfort mode. So smooth. <laughs> Boop. Nothing. It didn't even move. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a U turn. Whoa. How's the tea? Yeah, we're good. Maybe we'll get a sponsor out of this. Guys, you know what? Comment below your favorite tea. Okay, we're gonna go into Sports Plus mode. Same road. Oh, it's feeling a little bit more. How's it going down there? No. And... The tea is good. The tea is good. <laughs> oh, man. Now, let's talk about figures, facts and figures in terms of pricing. This car was well over $200,000 brand new. The feel of the interior, it's, it's very ES and GS like. And guys, if you haven't watched that video, be sure to watch it. I will put up a link in the description or somewhere in the video. <laughs> like when these buttons feel... It just doesn't feel thought out of like it's just yep that's where they go we'll put them there and we won't design them any differently but we'll have them there that's what it feels like the toyota camry like buttons here all auto like i don't need to know that it's all auto i can probably figure that out you know it's just the ls 500 it's like you're seeing in the spaceship the S-Class, the S-Class feels like you're sitting in a modern day lounge suite. This, this just feels like a better ES. You know? Now guys, that is a wrap on the Lexus LS460. I really hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. What was it that you really liked about the car? Please be sure to write down in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. I really actually really enjoyed this car. I just think it's so smooth. Smoother in fact than the LS500. However, the handling and the interior really lets the car down. So, look, 
guys i'm not sure if you watched the ls 500 video if you haven't be sure to watch it or the s class video if i had to compare it to either one of them and for all fairness sakes i should compare it to the s class because again this was the 2013 model when it first came out and the s class was in 2014 when it first came out so in terms of generations they are the same really is is rather far behind than the s class and that's the one thing that really lets it down and uh also that handling um it's so front heavy and even though it's got the air suspension it doesn't quite handle so well around the corners you can see me it's like you can sort of see me go left and right however the smoothness of it i cannot get over how smooth the car is anyways guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming up anyways guys thank you so much for watching and until next time Get that